Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Byte. Today we have an exciting tutorial lined up for you. We'll be walking you through the process of creating a simple yet powerful image resizer using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So let's dive right in. First off, let's take a look at the HTML code that forms the foundation of our image resizer. We begin with the usual structure of an HTML document. The doc type HTML declaration sets the document type and ensures compatibility with web browsers. In the head section, we specify the character set and the title is Image Resizer. Moving on to the body section, we have our main content wrapped inside a div with the class wrapper for structuring purposes. Inside the wrapper, we have the upload box where users can select an image file from their device. It consists of an input element of type file with the accept attribute set to image for accepting only image files. The actual file input is hidden, and we display an image icon alongside a text prompt using an image tag and a paragraph tag. Next, we have the resizing options section. Users can specify the desired width and height for the resized image using input elements of type number inside separate columns. Additionally, we provide checkboxes for users to choose whether to lock the aspect ratio or reduce the quality of the resized image. These checkboxes are enclosed within separate columns for organization. Finally, we have the download button, which users can click to download the resized image once they're satisfied with their adjustments. We've linked an external style sheet called style.css to enhance the visual presentation. Additionally, we include a JavaScript file using the script tag with the defer attribute, ensuring it's loaded after the document content. And there you have it. That's the HTML structure of our image resizer. In the next part of this tutorial, we'll dive into the CSS to make our design visually appealing and user-friendly. Starting off, we're applying a global reset to all elements using the universal selector, this ensures consistent spacing and sizing throughout the project. We set up the body to be a flex container with center alignment both horizontally and vertically. This ensures our image resizer is nicely centered on the screen, regardless of the viewport size. Moving on to the wrapper class, we define its dimensions, padding, and background color. This encapsulates our entire image resizer interface. By adding the wrapper active class, we increase its height to accommodate additional content such as the uploaded image and resizing options. Inside the wrapper, we have the upload box styled with a dashed border to indicate the area where users can drop their image files. When activated, the border disappears, providing a cleaner look. The content section initially has zero opacity and is not clickable. This prevents users from interacting with it until an image is uploaded. Once activated, it fades in smoothly and users can interact with the resizing options. We style the input fields for width and height, ensuring they are visually consistent and easy to use. The labels are also styled for clarity and readability. Checkboxes for locking aspect ratio and reducing quality are styled to match the overall design aesthetic. When checked, they change color to indicate selection. Finally, we style the download button with a contrasting color scheme, making it stand out. It's also set to uppercase for emphasis. Now let's move on to the JavaScript part where we'll add functionality to our image resizer. In this section, we'll go through the JavaScript code that enables our image resizer to do its magic, allowing users to upload, resize, and download images seamlessly. We start by selecting various elements from our HTML document using document.querySelector and store them in variables for easy access. When a file is selected for upload, the load file function is triggered. It loads the selected image, updates the width and height input fields with the image's dimensions, calculates the original image's aspect ratio, and activates the wrapper class to reveal the resizing options. As users type in the width or height input fields, the corresponding value is updated accordingly. 
If the aspect ratio checkbox is checked, the height or width is adjusted to maintain the original aspect ratio of the image. When the download button is clicked, the resize and download function is executed. This function creates a canvas element, draws the resized image onto it, sets the desired image quality, converts the canvas content to a data URL, and triggers a download of the resized image. We also have event listeners set up for the file input, upload box, and download button to handle user interactions effectively. And there you have it, that's the JavaScript code powering our image resizer, allowing users to upload, resize, and download images with ease. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Happy coding and stay tuned for our next video.